Nothing. <laughs> Nothing? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> okay. No Miller tonight? No, turn it off. <laughs> so anyways, we just pulled the, uh, <laughs> uh, that's what she wanted paid for, for helping me work. <laughs> but, uh, so anyways, we got the head off the combine. This is a 1978 New Holland 1400 combine. Uh, can't really look at it from up here because we're just kind of on top. Uh, like I said before, don't walk back there because, well, it's going to get like some dryer metal put on it if it ever rusts out because you know whatever uh so what it was doing i don't know if i went over this in other videos or not uh what this thing was doing is when you first started up uh it would want to get hot i mean like hot uh and if you revved it hit the throttle wom, 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 and it's kind of like uh once you got the bubble of air to the top of the tank it wouldn't overheat uh and i combined 22 acres worth of beans last year like that uh not to mention drove it halfway home and then some other farmer decided uh, he'd stop and see what the hell I'm doing and asked where I went or where I was going. I told him east of Cincinnati. At that point we were still like 70 miles away and he brought it home on a semi for me. Uh, pretty much just charged me fuel. Really great guy. He was a dairy farmer. So anyways, uh, yeah, if you revved it past the, uh, the point of you know, getting hot and actually got the coolant flowing, it would cool right off and go fine. Uh, so it's like the head gasket was blown, but not, you know, it was kind of like, you know, you could just imagine like the head gasket here. It was acting like a flap and not missing, you know, if that makes any sense. Not right there, but I'm just saying. Uh, so we've got the cylinder head off and I've looked at it and it's dirty, whatever, obviously. Um, let me climb over there and get out of this hole. Uh, so yeah, this is our head. That's front cylinder, that's the back cylinder. That's PTO side or flywheel side. It's a Ford 300 straight six. Uh, if it was in a truck, that's, you know, it's just a, a uh, Ford 300 straight six. So this cylinder looks kind of grody uh, in comparison to the center cylinders. Uh, now that being said, it's sat here with the hood up, and it's rained, so I don't know if that has anything to do with the the wetness we've got here. It's possible. But even if you look at the the exhaust valve and the deposits on the exhaust valve, uh, that is entirely different from the other ones. So, yeah, that one's a little grody too. But I'm looking at it as you're looking at it, because I was kind of inspecting the head gasket and inspecting... Uh, you would see like a line there you know of, of clean uh, if you've got a blown head gasket I'm gonna have to clean this up and I'm actually gonna send this head out and have it checked for straightness uh, and especially more so now that I've taken it apart because come down in here I don't know if you can see that yep see the zero three zero it's 30 over somebody's rebuilt this before now being a certified automotive technician I can tell some things about this engine just by looking at these holes start with the front one had a grody valve that clean spot there uh, if you see clean around the edge of a piston that means it's burning oil that is an, a cylinder that burns oil I don't care if it burns oil uh, this isn't the combine we're gonna have forever this is our starter combine and well I don't care if I have to add oil to it uh, that's wet. That probably is from rain or something. That cylinder's dry. It looks good. Looks good. Looks good. Now I wiped this off. Don't don't let that confuse you. Uh, because the cylinder I'm about to show you was full of coolant when I took the head off. But it was because of the coolant in the back of the cylinder or the back of the uh, the cylinder block. You know there was some coolant there. So I wiped it out and I wanted to see if. Uh, if I could wipe this one clean, clean the way this one is. See how clean that piston is? Now I wiped this cylinder out with just a rag, just to get the coolant out of it. But I did not scrub it by any means. This I scrubbed. If you've got a clean piston like that, uh, you're burning coolant. Uh, definitely. Not to mention, there's some rust in there. Granted, this thing did sit with uh you know the, the carburetor off and it got rained in 
uh, once, you know, just this past couple days. And this is probably what I would expect to see that level of rust from just a couple days. Notice the orange color and very granular, and you can just knock it right off. That stuff there, the darker, that's like pitting. Uh, yeah, that's that's been there a while. So I'm betting that this is our cylinder that was the problem. So, uh, yeah, this is what we're doing. I guess uh, I'll go ahead and post this one. And when we get the head checked and get it back from the machine shop, uh, we'll go over any other possibilities. Oh, this is a neat trick. So you can see the green all the way down to there. If you stick a paper towel in a hole with any kind of liquid in it, uh, if I come back tomorrow, there's not going to be any coolant in there because it'll wick down and it'll drip off the bottom of the paper towel and then your hole will be dry. Uh, it's just something I've done for years at work and everything else. But uh, yeah, I guess if I get anything more interesting, I'll add it to it. But I'm not seeing anything screaming, jumping out at me right now. So thanks for watching. If you like what you see, come back for more. We'll get this old thing going and got 22 acres of beans to harvest and uh until then we'll see you next time